Hey guys, and welcome to my second recorded Best of Eleven Blitz Scrabble Battle against Josh Sokol. I'm guessing most of my viewers at this point are familiar with Josh, but in case you aren't, Josh is the current Scrabble Players Champion, so he's a formidable opponent, and he's also one of my good friends, so uh, it's always a challenge as well as a pleasure playing against Josh. And I'm sure today is going to be no exception. Our first match, which I'll make sure to post a link to in the description below, went all the way down to the wire finishing in game 11 with a 6-5 victory for me, so hopefully this one will be just as exciting, and without further ado, let's go ahead and let the games begin. Alrighty guys, we are underway, and it looks like I am going to be first in game 1. I've got the J and the X. Uh, definitely would rather get rid of the J. I'm thinking Jot sets up the A hook. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and do that. I could have played Kata, saving JX, but wasn't too keen on saving both of those, especially early in the game. I generally would prefer to keep good bingo tiles as opposed to power tiles. So I think Jot is reasonable. I guess I could have played Cox too, and he plays Vov, so already a very, very defensive game. And not a particularly good draw here. CCUX. No E for Codex. I think I'll just play Do and keep things tight. I mean, I don't love keeping the two Cs, but there's not much else here. <laughs> At least if uh, I have a bad rack, I might as well try to make Josh's life as difficult as possible, too. And I draw a credit minus an E. Almost sick of tricks to this X, which would be pretty cool. I, I wonder, maybe I should have just played Cox, actually, to get rid of one of the Cs. It's possible. Maybe I should have just played Cox and set up the A hook. I'm not sure, to be honest. This is a bit easier to overlap, so I don't know. I think this is fine. Like I said, just, you know, <laughs> if I don't have anything good, might as well make it tough for him, too. And he plays Diva, so setting up an N and S hook. Uh, I guess I'll just play Cicada at this point. I don't think there's much merit to keeping it tight. And I draw a blank. No vowels, though. I have trigrams through this A, which is a bingo. It's not going to score all that much. It's only 60, but it's still a bingo. So hopefully that stays open, but we will see. I don't think I have any other playable bingos, as far as I can tell. It's not easy without a vowel. I'm going to definitely need to play through a vowel and make the blank a vowel. So I'm somewhat limited in what possible bingos I could have. And Josh has taken some time here, so interesting. He's already used almost half his time, and we're, we're still pretty early in the game. So that's something we'll want to watch out for if he gets into some time trouble, I might want to think about maybe trying to play fast. But we'll see. Wow, he's still thinking. Okay, and Rue comes down, so I'm going to definitely play Trigrams, because I don't believe I have any other bingos. And wow, I still have no vowels. But I have a Y at least, so I could maybe do something like Lymph. Not exactly sure where. I guess I have maybe... There's got to be stuff through this eye that's reasonable. Blimey, perhaps, or Blimp. Blimp is probably better. F-H-Y. Uh, well, actually, Blimp plays very nicely now. He opens up an S-hook. I can't really do anything about it because I have no vowels. I could also play Fishy. That's 36. Blimp is probably more. 40. Oh, that's way more. Yeah, 45 for sure. Yeah, there is this Cane's hook that's... Now pretty much impossible to block without the S, but, I mean, there's not much I can really do about it. So, all right, I think I might as well just try to keep scoring. I guess Wifty looks fine. 30 points keeps GHT. And what do I have here? Not a ton. Yeah, I mean, I could maybe consider... Maybe I should consider playing Hug to kind of block the Kane's hook. It's not a crazy idea, to be honest. Uh, do I have anything here? Eight, 18. No, not not really. Uh, E-I-N or something. Oh, I have Thien. That's pretty good. That scores enough points to be worth it, I think. And, all right, I got the other blank, which is... Oh, I just realized I almost had unweight through the W. I didn't even look for eights there, but it wouldn't have fit anyway. But I had, like, a brief second of panic when I saw unweight through the W. I just didn't even look for eights. All right, I got the boing. Uh, doubt there's a bingo here. Wow, D E L for four. He must be getting some tough racks. Uh, gluey, I guess. Elegy. Oh, elegy. There we go. Making Delhi. Whoa, Snifter comes down immediately and haunted. I'd rather not open the triple triple if I can help it. At this score. Do I have anything here? 
audit isn't good. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, I don't know. It's also this Devon or Divas hook. All right, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna do this. Hopefully, he can't triple triple. It's pretty unlikely. I mean, he gets QI for a lot. Uh, what do I have here? Anything with the K? Not really. I'll just play Boat. I think take out that spot. I'm still up a hundred, so. Barring something quite remarkable, I should still be good to go. He plays oof. Uh, do I just play like rink or something? I mean, I'm not too worried about hooks, I don't think. No, Kern is better. Let's just play Kern. It's, oh, I have Aeronaut. Oh, I have Aeronaut in two spots, actually. I have it to the T in uh, Thien also. He'll get a big Z play through this E, but that's fine. i got plenty of... Room to spare. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to play PO. I just basically need to not flag. Spread uh, spread is pretty much irrelevant. All right. So, yeah, this game, it seemed like Josh was just really struggling to get a bingo to materialize. It seemed like he sort of had a good rack, but just not a great rack. Let's see. So, interesting. He plays Vuv here, opting for the super defensive play instead of Viva, which is still pretty defensive. Yeah, I probably should have just played Cox. Keeping the two Cs is really rough, but, I mean, yeah, I set up the A hook. I figure Josh is reasonably likely to have another A after after Vov, um, but, yeah. So, the Trigrams was the only bingo. Interesting. So, he goes with Kane. Oh, he had four consonants. Wow, a ton of consonant trouble for both of us, it looks like. Yeah, he kept having, well, we both just had a lot of consonant trouble over and over. Um, oh, I didn't... Oh, I missed uh, Thane with the G. I might be better to do it like this, though. I mean, GU isn't great. IU is probably worse, though, just with the two vowels. I don't think U just correct at this score, but maybe it is. This certainly worked out well. I blocked... Li well, I guess Linters probably didn't even play there, but yeah, he... That makes sense. He kept Sinter. He draws Snifter. Unthawed. But yeah, that also was pretty risky with the Q and C, and so yeah, I think this is fine. All right, and then, yeah, the end game here is uh, kind of a moot point. Um, so, all right, pretty well-played game, I think, by both of us. I probably got the... Uh, I got I definitely got the better of the tiles with the two blanks, and I got another very nice draw here. Certainly going to be bingoing. Um, I mean, Consort, Crodens, Raccoons, Coronas. Many options. Condors. I'm sure there's some other ones as well that I haven't spotted yet, but... We'll see what Josh plays. Hopefully, if he opens the right tile, I can double-double. I'm not going to double-double, but... Oh, actually, I'm going to double-double. I have Consort here. I was saying I'm not going to double-double through a tile that he plays, which is what I was sort of thinking, but I'll take Consort for 89. What do we have here? We've got the UV combo, which is, of course, not great. Almost cover-up. I could just play cover-up through this R to... Dispose of as many tiles as possible. Velour is solid, 19 points, which isn't great, but it's not terrible. Keep CP, which, you know, not the greatest sleeve of all time, but certainly pretty solid if I can draw some vowels. I can also just play Pud for 24. Clove isn't the worst sleeve either, so I've got some okay options. No great options, but a bunch of reasonable ones. Josh plays Fallout, so just kind of also burning through his rack. Uh... I kind of want to block this Z spot a little bit. I don't think I want to play Cove here, or Clove, rather. See, I, I need to get rid of this V, and I just don't really have a way to do it. I mean, I could just do this, actually. It's actually not the craziest thing I've ever seen. Maybe I, I kind of actually like that. Keeps a pretty good leave, takes out the Z spot. I'm not too worried about the S hook. I'm going to do it. It's a bit of an equity sacrifice. It's probably not standard, but I, I really don't want to keep VU together with something like Cope. Yeah, I could have... It's a big equity sacrifice. I mean, I could have just played Clove, but I didn't want to open things all up. Unfortunately, copyable doesn't fit through this either of these A's, which is too bad. Um, I mean, just BOD seems fine. It's a good leave. So let's do it. All right, uh, gotta be, oh, Calipi is a special. So I have Calipi's through the A and Leafy, a special through the A and Gods. Uh, anything else? Not 
that's jumping out. Eclipse is on my rack, but it doesn't look like it's going to play. As far as I can tell. Yeah, so we'll see what he does. He's already down to almost a minute. So yeah, Josh definitely both of the first few games has been uh, using a lot of time early on. But he, in fairness, he uh, he definitely had some tough decisions, at least in the in the last game. So yeah, I think a special with uh, Calipes blocked was my only bingo. And I draw well again here. I have, uh, well, do I have anything that plays? Probably not. A reloader. Uh, I don't think anything plays so I'll just play loader over here take out that spot or do some tiles hope I just missed something but I don't think so feel pretty confident with a rack that high prob I wouldn't miss a bingo but you never know Ooh, existent nice play uh, do I want to play eh, I probably want to block that it's probably just neem I always play Zen next turn yeah let's play neem take that out I don't think I have any way to use the Z there at the moment. So, all right, what am I up? I'm up 68, so still up about a bingo. Probably zoner through this E just to take out th that line. No X left, so I'm not too worried about X bombs over there. Oh, Potser, that's probably better. Yeah, six more points. I don't think there's any reason not to do that. Uh, Atropine through the P, Notaries, to the S, which is less ideal. Hopefully one of those stays open. Yeah, if I can get Atropine down, that should pretty much lock it up. Dang, he blocks both. And it looks like there should be an eight through the G, but there's not. No nines, right? Uh, like Esotropia or something. Operation, that doesn't fit, almost fits. Anoretic, no, all right, so I guess I don't know. Do I just burn tiles? There's a blank. I think I just burn tiles. I don't think it's worth fishing on this board. I don't really know. I mean, okay. So he just plays whiny. I'm going to block here a little bit and play Aji. It's not that easy to bingo on this board. I guess there's... Oh, there is the left. I missed... I missed this line on the left. Shoot. Yeah, he could definitely get something there. Yeah, like I, I can't... I don't want to play Waked and empty the bag. I think... Shoot. Um, probably Dak to keep one in the bag so that if... Yeah, if he bingos there, then I should be able to... Oh, okay. He, he got the Q anyway. All right. Uh, no R for Wisteria. Let's just play Tully. Yeah, I don't think I played that correctly at the at the end there. I uh, I just spaced on the when I played Ahi, I just played spaced on the line next to Tayed. So I I probably should have done something to address that sooner. Let's see. Yeah, this was uh, this was maybe not a great play here, Val. I mean, it's still, it's still about a seven point equity sacrifice. That's not that much actually. I mean, PU is just so much worse than the CELOP leave and. Clove does leave the Z-bomb and also open a lot more space. And Josh just turned over six tiles, so I don't think this is crazy. It's definitely a bit conservative, but I think it's not unreasonable. And then, wow, this this looks like a horrible play. I mean, getting rid of the E, keeping two I's. See, this is this is why like Y I is one of the most deceptively bad two tile combinations. Like even when you like when you don't have a bingo. It's just so hard to work with. I mean, maybe Edify, but that gives back a ton of points. I mean, this is just... Like, I'm not saying it's wrong, just because his options are so bad, but it's a horrible-looking play. And then he has to play Tayed for A. Yeah, definitely Josh getting some rough tiles. I missed Enzyme for 34 here, which may be better, but I think blocking down here is reasonable too, given I have a lead. I should have no problem playing the Z next turn. Tri Ooh, that's a cool play. Triac to that C... But I think taking out the G and turning over tiles is also fine. Mind you, I wonder if Josh saw cough for 18, getting rid of the Q. That may be better. Yeah, I mean, just the Q is so hard to deal with on this board. I feel like there is a U left. So maybe Josh was kind of going for the U, the U and trying to hit a Q U bingo. So 
not entirely unreasonable. And I hear over, I guess going for Baroque maybe is probably about as good as he can do. I mean, he's got BVQ. Squab is not going to win. I mean, he's down 13 in a tempo, keeping the V. Yeah, no, no way. So I, I think that's probably a reasonable effort. And yeah, because if I play Wake and he bingos out with Baroque, I lose. So I figured if I play Dak, then I can maybe outrun some bingos. I don't know. I'm not sure I played that optimally, but let's move on. All right, so good start so far. Uh, probably just flown. Looks good. Oh, Woeful, probably, to get rid of the U. Yeah, that's better. All right, let's do that. Innerved. Uh, undriven? Is that a word? I don't think so. Should I try it? I'm pretty I'm pretty sure this is not a word. I'm pretty sure this has come up before. I don't know. Josh is probably going to know. I mean, he's not the defending uh, North American champion for no reason. He's probably going to know that undriven is not a word. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to try it. Nothing through this O, right? Yeah, envi environed with another E. Non-drive. Well, now I don't even have to think about trying undriven, so maybe a good thing. Plays redon for 24, so getting rid of some good bingo tiles for some points. Uh, what do I have here? Uh, vendor? That's pretty bad. Huh. Yeah, I don't have a lot of good options here, do I? What do I have that's better than Vendor? Dovin. Um, Vin just doesn't go down. Do I have a double double? I don't think. I don't know. It's, it seems like a terrible play. I'm just not seeing anything good. It's a good draw here. Uh, I don't think I have anything that plays at the moment. Ooh, Viricide. Nice play. 3i bingo. Uh, I must have something, right? Do I not have something? Really? Prisoned? No. Think from this L? What? I feel like I gotta have something here, right? I hope I'm not going crazy and missing something. Because it sure feels like I ought to have a bingo, but I, I'm i just not seeing it. I think I'm just going to play PO, because I definitely want to try to bingo as soon as possible. If I can't now. And I, yeah, I just really hope I didn't, I didn't miss something on that rack. That would be kind of embarrassing, but I uh, I don't think I did. I mean, oh boy, the demisted comes down. Uh, at least we'll get something down here, though, right? Uh, indicts, tiniads. It sure makes too much of a difference. I should probably just do something because I'm getting a little low on time. Play Tiniads. And all right, I get a pair of Ys. I have the H, which is good. Horsey is 60 if that stays open. It's part of like why I like putting the S. It's not the easiest tile to overlap. So if I can get Horsey down, then maybe I'll have some chances. If not, I still have Hoy, which... Scores reasonably well and sets up the S hook, so not the worst wreck to draw after a bingo. But a lot is going to depend on what he drew. Alright, he plays FE, so yeah, definitely horsey for 60, clearly correct. I'm still down, but I'm pulling my way back. I have Koji now for 45. Still have a little over a minute, so I'm a bit low on time. Josh is... About as low on time as I am, though, too. So it could be a bit of a time scramble here if this ends up being a close game. Go pick is another option, but Koji has to be better, I would imagine. It's also jokey here if that spot gets taken, but we'll see. Josh is now under a minute, so I, after taking a way too long, probably, whoa. Fishing. I think I should play Yapok now and try to stop bingos. Yeah, I think I gotta do that. It's also 46. It's pretty good. And, I mean, it stops sevens on the L column next to the FE and on the three row. So, it's not that easy to bingo now if he doesn't have an S. I feel like after that one tile fish, that, that play was probably warranted. 
And yeah, he just plays Aw, so maybe hate I don't like setting up that mammoth S hook, but I mean what am I gonna do other than otherwise just J.O. in the corner. This at least stops some overlaps. Alright, fine, I'll do it. Yeesh, not a good rack at all. Into tool with an E. Probably not going to get an E. But I guess it's possible. Probably play like Lee 2 or something. Ah, eh, no, I don't want to do that with a Q left. Oh, he's down to 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm down to not a lot myself. I should probably stop talking and start playing. Uh... I don't know. I'm just going to do something here. Uh, let's see. Alright, he had retains, retain plus a blank, so I wasn't going to stop him. I'll just play ZA. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely still have some chances here. I can play Quid for a lot. He trades 5. Alright, so I'll just play Quid. Maybe I should have played it. Oh, I have Hauling and Nilga. Uh, I guess Hauling... I don't think Nilga plays. Hauling does take the S, so I guess I'll have... Um, okay, um, uh, I doubt he has any bingos that are playable. I'll just do this. I mean, I don't, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to do something fast and not flag. All right, I got to challenge that and then pass. Okay. <laughs> I knew he was going to try something there. Um, try to steal that one. So I just had to make sure I was, uh, paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, that was a, um, very surprised I managed to come back. Okay, good. At least I didn't miss a bingo here. Yeah, I spent way too long just convincing myself there was nothing. Yeah, maybe I could play Ponied, but I'm pretty likely to bingo after this fish. I think this is reasonable. Um, yeah, I was down 128 here, but yeah, fortunately for me, this is, again, part of why I played Tinians. Like, it's it's surprisingly annoying to play under with the, the DS right there. And yet, F8 is, is a good play by Josh. I mean, he keeps ACERT, which is a nice leave. Unfortunately, he draws this EI combo, which is a dead rack. And yeah, Koji better on equity, like I said, but I think Yapak is correct after his fish. Yeah, he keeps keeping these pretty good five-tile leaves and just not producing a bingo. Well, here he produces four bingos, Keratin, Surden, Creatin, Tecreen, and none of them play, amazingly. Uncertain runs the through this NU also doesn't fit. And he fishes. Yeah, he's getting very low on time. And he draws the blank. Wow. Uh, and he then he draws seven vowels. What a uh, what a whirlwind of a game for Josh drawing wise. And he had Telemano Mental Lomenta here too, and it didn't and I blocked them. Wow, what a swing. I drew Hauling and I bingoed and blocked Omental for 70 for him. Wow. Very fortunate. And I missed uh, oh I, yeah, I just forgot about this spot, but I mean I, I probably don't want to do that anyway, because that maybe could give back some bingos for, for Josh. Uh, this is fine. Um, yeah, and he tries uh, Belm making uh, Bowe and Hollingle, which uh, I challenged off and, uh, yeah, I just passed. So, all right. Um, yeah, 3 uh, nothing, but it's still very early. Uh, if anyone is capable of mounting a comeback, it is uh, certainly Josh. So, certainly not going to... Uh, not going to get complacent here. Going to try to keep playing the best Scrabble I can because I'm going to need to against Josh if I want to close this out because it's, uh, like I said, he's, he's definitely not going to make it easy. But, yeah, I mean, not too much else to, to look at there. I think we both, we've both both been playing pretty well. Like, no glaring mistakes. I mean, a few endgame mishaps, but, like, I'm not worried about that. And, and but it's no glaring mistakes by either of us yet not to jinx it when it really mattered of course i say that and now one of us is going to just go like miss a few bingos um yeah speaking of which do i have a bingo here bifocals with a c uh boat lift i feel like i should have something maybe not fish bolt or something no all right uh forb not very exciting play I don't want to play Bassify and get rid of the S. All right, I guess just Forb. Not a very exciting play, like I said, but it's probably reasonable. Do I have anything here? I don't think anything that plays at the moment. Railings with an N. Gracilis with a C as well, which would be pretty cool. Uh, nothing with a D or a U, though, I don't believe. So, we just play guild or something? I mean, I can't really score. 
Guild, or even just Gid. Maybe Gid Poly Bingo's more, right? Poly Bingo's more, so I think I'll do that. Have anything here? I don't think so. Tail races. Huh. Yeah, Yurta doesn't take an S either. Racials? That's not. I don't think that's good. Huh. Dang, I keep having these wrecks, so I can't remember for sure if there's a bingo, but I don't think there is one here. Um, I feel like I'm just getting into this vicious cycle of fishing and losing a lot of time. Gosh, I, I don't know what to do. Um, just Kale? It seems horrible. Yeah, that seems just absolutely dreadful, but and I, now I drew the Q, which I probably deserve for the way I've been playing this game, but I mean... Yeah, and he gets hoarding down, so I think I have to just play Chi, unfortunately. I don't really have too much of a choice. I could play Kadi, I guess. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is not looking good. Um, and I'll have something here. I think I have to probably just play Racinos and blow this open. I don't know. This is not looking good. <laughs> not looking good at all. But I don't know. Yeah, I mean, nah, this is just going to give back way too many points. I mean, that's just Keratins. But yeah, Keratins just closes the board down too much. I have to do this. I, I think I have to do this. I mean, I drew Endgame, so that's something. Ganymede, Megadine doesn't fit. I mean, he's almost certainly going to block here. Uh, Demeaning. No, that doesn't fit. Dang it. Shoot. Triple triples, but, I mean, at least I have that back. Well, it looks like Josh is going to get me this game, but, I mean, he was definitely due. I certainly feel like I out him in those first couple of games, and, yeah, I, I did not... I mean, I, I don't think I played very well here. I definitely did not manage my time well this game. That's for sure. I just spent way too much time wondering whether there was a bingo on too many of those racks, when there probably wasn't. Well, either there wasn't or I missed something. Um... Yeah, I don't know here. Uh, I mean, I think this game is pretty much lost. Down to like 20 seconds. I don't even know what I'm fishing for. But I just want to... I don't think I can play Jaw anywhere. I, I guess I drew Wartime. I'm not even sure if it's going to play. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I have 19 seconds. Yeah, I just... I just didn't... Uh, didn't play nearly fast enough this game. Metricate. Ah, damn, if he didn't play that V there, Metricate would have fit. Meteor, Emirate, Emerita. But nothing, nothing's going to play. Yeah, this board is just uh, too uh, too weak for Bingo. And there's just not nowhere to go. And I don't really even know how I'm supposed to make an opening here. I mean, I can just do something like this. Eh, I guess I'll do that. Why not? Might as, might as well try something. I don't, I don't care about spread. Open the, open the hook there. I mean, it's not going to work. Yeah, all right. GG. <laughs> and I drew two more R's. But like I said, I can't really complain because I... Uh... Is that good? Wait, I'm going to... Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. I think it's just... Yeah, I think Pudendal might be, but... Okay, well played. <laughs> yeah, he saw I was going to run out of time and not have time to challenge, so he threw down this BS right here. <laughs> like I said, I... Uh, oh, I missed Fibulas. Okay, there you go. Yeah, see, I see, I... I knew I... Uh, had a feeling I was missing something here. Yeah, and then Big is, is probably just better than... than Gid. Yeah, I just... I kept thinking I was, like, missing bingos on these turns, and that, that definitely distracted me a bit from making the the best plays. I just spent way too much time. Ooh, Silosi. So the blank P. It's two more. It's nine more points because it doesn't put the blank on the double order. That's very, very hard to see. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I yeah, I can't complain. I, I missed Fibulas. That's uh, that's a very bad mistake. And it looks like I missed. Uh, well, actually, no, I uh, yeah, I missed Ahi here for more. Yeah, no, not a well played game by me at all. So definitely a well deserved loss. Yeah, it doesn't really look like there is. I mean, at this point, there isn't much to do. And yeah, I was just just out of time. So. Like I said, uh, didn't manage my time well. Uh, I mean, other than Fibulas, I don't think I played that badly, but that's that's a bad miss. That's 48 points. That's obviously well worth spending the S. That's a, it's like a 20-point mistake. So can't be doing that. But all right, we're still up 3-1, so still in pretty good position, and hopefully we can get back on track in game number five. So I'll just uh, give Josh a minute here to finish... His analysis and then get underway. Here we go. Uh, yikes. A lot of vowels. Trade five. Looks pretty clear. And do I have anything on this rack? Probably not. Try Ethel with a Y. If by any chance I get a Y. Not super likely, but possible. Tilt. I don't know. Are there even any other eights, actually? There might not be. I don't think there's anything with an A or an O. Whittler, actually, with a W. So I need a W. Oh, I got a Y. Let's go. That's cool. Not a word you see very often. It does not take an S. I'm almost positive. So we'll see if that comes up. I'm, I guess I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm not 100%. I'm 98% sure that triethyl doesn't take an S. I'm pretty sure it's just an adjective. And I draw a lot more vowels back. I might have to trade again. I mean, I guess G is worth it. Like, it's 34 points. It keeps A-I-I-I, -I -I, which is uh, just dreadful. I mean, yeah, I think I got to trade here, right? Like, what do I have otherwise? Uh, nothing. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think this is another trade six rack. I mean, I, I could play Taj, but I'm keeping E-E-I-I-I. -I -I -I. That's just uh, doesn't work. So, yeah, trade six again. <laughs> no, I have sub ocean. <laughs> I'm gonna go if if sub ocean stays open. I'll go uh, trade bingo trade bingo. Always funny way to start out the game. Damn it, didn't stay open. That would have been nice. Uh, subpoena doesn't work. Uh, it's irritating. He blocks it with just a silly little five point play, but it happens. All right. Uh, I don't think I have any other bingos. Maybe. I just play Bout. Sets up the A hook pretty nicely. Keeps a good leave. Let's go for it. Furane's unsafer. So no double doubles. But I certainly will be bingoing on my next turn. Still uh, wondering if triethyls will come up at some point. Like I said, if he plays it, I'm definitely challenging. And I'm not going to play it unless I feel like I need to because i feel like he probably is aware that it doesn't take an s he fishes a tile so furines unsafer i play it eh, maybe down here yeah because he might not have the a and maybe he's trying for something with i don't know i'll try to induce him to play triethyls maybe set a little bit of a trap we'll see if it works Do I have anything here? Yeah, Morainal Manorial I have to this L. If it stays open, no sevens, right? Amarino, Amarini doesn't work. Marinara, <laughs> that's not a bingo, but that's cool. Josh already down to a minute. So yeah, he must have, kind of like I did the last game. It's it's really hard, guys, in these Blitz games when you have these racks where you feel like you should bingo. Like, there's got to be a bingo, and you just don't see it. Like, it's hard not to spend a lot of time, because we hate missing bingos. You know, all top players hate missing bingos. It's never a good feeling. Like, you feel like you're just throwing away such a good opportunity. Like, I, I never get mad about any mistakes as much as I do about missing bingos, especially high problems. And Josh is, wow, he's down to 30-some seconds already. I mean, he's going to need to absolutely blitz the rest of this game out. Wow. Yeah, he must have a... Wow. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I can bingo to that S. All right, so he, he clearly didn't play with triethyl, so he clearly is aware that it's not good. I mean, I got to just do this, and I mean, as long as he doesn't triple-triple now, I should be good. Well, I'm actually I'm not up that much. I'm only up 78. Guyev is absolutely coming down if it stays open. 
I wonder if Josh realizes how low on time he is. Uh, I should probably just try to play fast, since so he can't think on my time. Doji, maybe? Nah, let's play Davey, get rid of the V. Oh yeah, he does realize how low he is now for sure, given how fast he's playing. Um, okay, let's play Mook. Uh, Viticon, is that going to play? Uh, I, have, I have time, I don't need to keep rushing necessarily. Um, hold on, Viticon? Doesn't, nothing else? I feel like I should have maybe a nine. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. Uh, division. All right. Uh, let's just play Vino here, maybe. Hope I'm not missing that, but we'll see. Uh, he plays truck. Uh, I'll just play. All probably or now Wab. Let's play Wab. Oh, he played Wii. Um, just play Oxids, I guess. Kind of lame. Now nah, let's play Cotty. That's pretty good. All right, and now yeah, I mean I'll just play Oxide. That outruns anything he could possibly have. He oh he passed. All right, I'm just gonna pass back. I'm just gonna let him have it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, he and he even noticed truck eyes before. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, I was up enough that I could withstand any sort of thing he uh, threw at me there. Let's see. Um, oh, Egypt. Nah, that's not worth it. 14 points for AII. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, and Josh points out. Yeah, he, he definitely um, played a bit too slowly this game. I. I would say, um, but either way, he had some tough tiles. It looks like he had oh, this. This rack is just a nightmare. Like it feels like there's got to be a bingo, but there's just not. It's a seven rack where there's nothing totally understandable to fish. I guess this is two more points. Maybe I should have done that. I don't know. Doesn't really matter too much. Oh, he drew the blank. <laughs> yeah, see this. He's he spent over a minute here. He he probably should just play something, right? I mean, like there's just so many options here. It's overwhelming to try to come up with. All of them, and the difference is probably marginal enough that, yeah, in the, in the blitz scene, he probably needs to just play a bit faster. Oh, and here we go. I missed Dave, Davey for eight more points uh, over there, which is just, I mean, well, it does open that wide, but this score is just clearly a better play. So, yeah, Zing over here looks pretty good. Oh, retrench. Look at that. He missed retrench. I mean, he had nine seconds. Like, it's uh, definitely understandable, but, I mean, that would have... If he could have played that, he actually takes the lead here. And, like, if he if he could manage to blitz out his the rest of his game fast enough, he maybe would have had some chances. All right, I did miss a bingo here, so Vino looks okay. Uh, oh, I missed Kadi on this turn, actually. And, uh, oh, my goodness. Look at that play. I mean, I'm probably not going to see that in a regular game, let alone a blitz game. That is sick. Double-double. Like, I mean, who's thinking about double-doubling through this eye with multiple insertions? That's wild. What a play. Just crazy. Yeah, no, I think the, the biggest thing that game was Josh definitely didn't uh, didn't manage his time probably the way he should have. But e either way, I got plateaus here. Um, either way, I, I think it was going to be... I mean, if, if he got retrenched down, it's hard to say for sure. But either way, it was going to be a bit of a tall order. Wow, I'm definitely drawing uh, pretty well here. I have Gynoesia for 102 if it stays open. Excuse me, 98. Not quite 102, but still a lot of points. So we'll see. I have Asseloins, the backup to this. Through S, Psychonia. So I've got options. I'm definitely bingoing. Uh, doubt there's anything through that U. So yeah, just play here as planned. Ooh, that's an ugly-looking draw. Very ugly draw. And Josh Bingo. So this game is far from over. And yeah, do I? I'm, I kind of have to trade here. No, I mean, what else? Am, I mean, I, I could play like J O, but I'm keeping three eyes in a Y. It's a guaranteed trade next turn, basically. It's not worth it. 
Better off just trading now. Um, Zhao is probably worth it, though. It only keeps two eyes. Yeah, it's, it also keeps, like, Y-O and U. Yeah, all right, that's that's worth it. Barely. And I got the other blank, at least. I mean, that wasn't worth it by much, but for 22, I think it was just barely worth it. He takes out that spot with Hod. Uh, so, Irie, maybe? Ugh. Is that even worth it? Do I just trade? Ice? Yeesh. I don't know. Irie doesn't really look worth it, to be honest. It doesn't even score that many points. Eh, I don't know. Nothing's very exciting here. <laughs> Icy doesn't seem worth it. Do I have anywhere? Oh, A. That's probably worth it. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Doesn't give back as much scores a little more. He plays Vended. Uh, there's got to be something. I mean, yeah, Flooding, Foliaged. Uh, yeah, Flooding looks fine, I think, or something there. Yeah, Fondling. It doesn't really matter. Just play Flooding. All right. But I'm up. Not, not a ton. I'm up 38. So still very much a game. Have a little bit of a vowel shortage on this rack. We're both definitely managing our time much better this game. Fawn scores pretty well. It's a lot of consonants, but I mean, I don't think I see anything much better. Let's do it. Oh, what a draw. Well, I'm drawing very well this game. That's an insane drive. Yeah, base things is good, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that's good. But beatings is definitely good, so I'm going to just play that. And that's actually more points anyway. So, yeah, I mean, just a lot of luck on my part here. I mean, drawing AGI to BNST is insanely lucky. Yeah, no, I'm definitely outdrawing Josh uh, by a significant margin overall in, in this series. Tempo, probably just res, take out that X spot, score some points. Could have actually gone for a Z set up there, but I think this is fine. I mean, I go up 100. If he doesn't bingo now, then I'm going to just, if I just play off a few tiles, he won't be able to bingo twice and should pretty much be a lock. Yeah, I mean, I don't have a good rack, but I mean, I can score points at least. Which is really all I need to do. I mean, I just need to score enough. I should probably, I'll probably block this S. I mean, you know, it's not over. Like, there's an X. He could play Exigent for 120, potentially. Like, I, I have... I need to be a little cautious still. If I could get something... Oh, Sour. That's definitely my play. Because that blocks both the S and the bottom line. Yeah, that's a great play. I don't think I have anything that starts SH. Shorer isn't good. Yeah, if... If he plays fewer than five tiles so Sourer wouldn't empty the bag, that's absolutely my play. Yeah, that's so nice defensively. I mean, just like completely exhausts the whole part of the board. And Josh, as he probably should here, is using all of his time to think about what his best option is. So he plays Zedin. Yeah, now I need to be a little careful about Sourer because it empties the bag. I mean, I don't know where he's possibly been going, but I, I also there's this X spot. I guess he can't really do too much. Um, huh, I, I mean, where's he bingoing after Sour? Like, I, I failed to see. He's not going to bingo to a U. Oh, I guess there's Sautoirs. Skillet. Yeah, he could have Skillet as an out bingo. I shouldn't allow that. All right, fair enough. Um, I don't know then. Uh, I can't really do anything over here. Not really sure what I should do, to be honest. Maybe I just—I mean, the odds of him having skillet are pretty slim. I'm—I'm uh, I'm getting low on time too, so let's—you uh, know, let's just do it. The odds of him having that are very slim. Okay, all right, that's fine. All right, I'll be able to outrun anything. I think as long. Never mind. He, uh, yeah, I, it was my fault. I let myself get, uh, get too low on time because I, I knew he was going to do that. And I, I just didn't have time to keep challenging. So that was, um, 
Yeah, see, I, I just spent way too long on the sour return, unfortunately. I missed Burks to just go out. Yeah, shoot. I mean, I didn't like... Ah, that's annoying. Because I didn't play particularly badly, I don't think. I just didn't... I didn't manage my time all day. I need to leave myself like 10 seconds because of those type of situations. That was very poor time management on, on my part. Yeah, it looks like we, we both played a pretty good game here up to that point. Not saying... Uh, Ah, dingbats. I didn't actually see that, but beatings is better anyway. Yeah. Uh, no, it looks like I played pretty solidly. And yeah, I just, I, I should have played something faster. I mean, I think sour is probably fine. Like, I, I don't have anything great that doesn't empty the bag. So sour is fine. I just need, I, I, I need to leave myself more than eight seconds for these end games because it's, it's easy to, like, he's going to just start phoning and it's easy to panic and, I'm just not that fast with the keyboard, and then yeah, he. I knew he was going to put this L there. I had I had a tenth of a second. I just didn't have time to, to challenge, unfortunately. So I I mean, it's uh, it's annoying, but you know it's part of the game, and uh, you know I I made a mistake. I didn't manage my time well, and uh, and Josh took full advantage. So it uh, it is what it is, and we got to move on and try to not make the same mistake again. So all right, we'll play over here. And let's see, no vowels, but at least I have the Y, so I, I should have something decent, hopefully. I mean, fry, worst case. I guess frying now is reasonable. Yeah, it's got to be correct. Or fringy. Frying seems a little better, positionally. And not a bad rack, actually. Coquina's with an A, if I can get one of those, but we'll see. I don't get one in the right spot. Do I have anything over here? Not really. I could play incog keeping QU together. It's actually not horrible. Keeping SUQ. Not the craziest idea I've ever seen. More conventional play is probably just Quinn's for 39, though. That's probably better. I mean, CO is, is just a little bit lower variance than the, the SUQ leave. And, and it's not the greatest board for the Q. I think I'm just going to do that. Definitely worth it to spend the S for... And that's almost 20 more points. Actually, yeah, it's 19 more points to spend the S. So clearly worth it. And I get the blank. I have cab over. Does it play? No. I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, though. Isn't, um, isn't Evocable good like this? I think this is good. Or am I... I hope I'm not thinking of something else. I might be thinking of something else. Because, yeah, actually, wait. No, because Evocable... Yeah, Evocable is definitely good. Without the front E. I, that might not take a front E. I think I might have just made up a word. I can't remember now. Yeah, I might have just made up a word. <laughs> well, we'll see. He hasn't challenged yet. He doesn't challenge. Maybe I didn't make it up. I don't know. I'm, I might just be confusing myself now. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. But, all right. Dow looks fine here. Scores some points. Do I have a bingo? I doubt it. Just probably play E-clog and blow through this rack. Does this take an R? Revocable? No, I don't think so. I think that's just coverable. I just need to learn my lesson from last game and leave myself at least like 10 or ideally 15 seconds for the end game so I don't run into the same panic type of situation if he keeps trying to phony. Just please phi. I guess e clog. I mean, it opens a lot of lines, which I don't really want to do with this score, generally, but I mean, I don't really like these one-point tiles. I think it's fine. Just Let's just burn through some tiles, accelerate the end of the game. Yeah, try to get some scoring tiles, which I did. I think that's a reasonable play. Kind of go more for the outscoring route rather than defense. It's a little bit easier to play, too, in Blitz, so I think that's fine. Oh, I almost have a Muskox. That would be really nice, but not quite... Just Mux is probably reasonable. Keeps a nice leave. Blocks a little bit. Plays Vatu. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't think Max is that great a play. Could it even just play Kex, keeping a really strong lead of EMRTS? It's not crazy, to be honest. It's a little fishy, considering I have a lead. Usually, you don't really want to fish too much with a lead. I'm not going to play Stem and open a triple-triple. Definitely not. Uh, I don't know. It blocks the E, at least. I think it's actually fine. And I got Metris. Yeah, I mean, I was just very likely to bingo after that. And yeah, I think Metris is probably the only thing that plays. So yeah, alright, now I'm at the point where, I mean, I, I do have a lot of vowels here, but, ooh, okay. So yeah, not, not over so fast, says Josh. Uh, okay, right, what am I, 38 seconds. Huh, Lawan maybe, L-A-U-A-N? It's not a very good looking play. I don't think I have anything through, uh, yeah, I just need to make a play. It's definitely a scary pool for sure. Do I have anything on the bottom right? I have D-E-L-E-D, -E -E which keeps I-U, not a good leave. I think I'd rather play Deluder and try to exhaust the board on the left. Yeah, especially after a fish like that, let's just Try to block some space. And I get the blank, which is good. Not a lot of scoring tiles, but at least I can play like Ilya on the bottom right. And there's a lot of good bingo tiles left. So I'll probably want to just play like... Um, I don't think there's anything he can have. I'll just play Ioli to block on the left a little bit, but I'm pretty sure there's no possible bingos he could have. All right, uh, yeah, I'll just do something here. I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as I don't flag. <laughs> no, I had a million better outs on the on the left. Yeah, not the cleanest game probably, but good enough. And I, I still cut it a little too close at the end there. Only had one second left. Um, no, coins, eh, I don't think that's right. Put in the Q there. I didn't think of cuz. That's interesting because it keeps the QU, but the IN does improve the lever. But I, th I still think getting rid of the Q is perfectly fine. Okay, evocable is good. All right, nice. I didn't make that up. Oh, no. Yeah, Josh. Uh, he points out here just as the, at the same time as I get to it. Yeah, he missed hit high right through the E. It's, uh, you know, it's a fairly high prop bingo. And it's a 5 L8, but it's not the easiest to, to see, right? When you have two A's and two I's, you're not necessarily thinking about looking through another vowel. So... Definitely an understandable miss, but uh, certainly one he, uh, I'm sure, would expect himself to to find. Um, yeah. And then at this point, oh, I missed, uh, I didn't even look from that V, to be honest. I just didn't, uh, I mean, I still don't think Hex is that bad a play, but yeah, Vex is 42 points. That's pretty clearly better. I just didn't even see it. And then, yeah, this this turn was tough. Uh, it probably was not a great play I made. Yeah, this... Oh, this is definitely better because it actually is very defensive on the left. Like, this E is not scary. It blocks the T. This would have been a great play. Uh, considerably better than what I did. Uh, and yeah, he fishes here. I guess I could also play Odd Isle. Deluge is probably a slightly better version of what I played, not to give back. Counter oh, Revocable is good. So Revocable and Coverable are both good. Okay, I wasn't sure if Revocable was spelled with a K. I got a little bit confused. All right. Um, so it's now match point, I guess, right? It's 5 to me, so... But he is not going to go down without a fight. As we see, he plays Gentile immediately. And... I've got two Ws and two Ts, so not great. Whited, I feel like, has to be correct. And this deck is looking a little better now. I guess wavy... Just kind of slowly trying to build my way towards a bingo. But yeah, all things considered, not a bad draw. I pull the E and the S. The V is a bit of a uh, annoyance, but at least I'll hopefully just play Wavy or Va or something. Yeah, I don't think that really changes things. Wavy feels like it's got to be correct. All right, well, that's definitely a bingo. Got, uh, what do I have? Patsies, Tapuses, Pet Size. I think there's one more, right? Pasty is good? I think pasties is good. Sometimes these racks with so many sevens get a little bit confusing. Um, oh, Patsy's is a double-double, though. That's That worked out well. And another nice draw here. Goodness. Pardeen. 
Uh, oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it played here, but it makes Han, which isn't a word. Uh, Dipteran through this T. That might actually be my only playable bingo now, because I don't think Pardeen plays. Uh, Pardeen does not take an S. It's an adjective, meaning resembling a pard, which I believe is another term for a leopard, if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not positive on that. And he plays Netleader, and that is going to stop me from bingoing, I think. He could play Han and hope he doesn't notice, but he's going to notice. I have like a 9 here, almost preordained or something. No, I don't think so. And there's nothing, there's nothing through an N, right? Uh, no. Pretty sure there's not. Um, print head or something? Nah. Alright, I think just PA or PI. PA probably actually bingos more. So I'll do that. Well, PI would have worked out better. I would have had a little drone. Hmm. You know, sometimes you never know whether... It's tough to decide sometimes whether you're better off keeping a A or an I with those kind of leaves. Often it's better for bingoing to keep the I, especially when you have the ED, I find. But in this case, it looks like I chose wrong. At least, uh, well, maybe I didn't choose wrong in principle, but given what I drew, I uh, choose wrong, chose wrong. He plays Kier. I mean, I could fish again with LO somewhere. Eh. I guess. I mean, I can't really score anything. So I guess I might as well fish. I hate fishing like this, but I mean... Something with Kern? I want to play Diner or Dinero and just blow it all open. That doesn't seem good. Ah, uh, I hate... F I don't want to do this for like seven. That seems terrible, but I'll do it. Yeah, see, this is this is why I just hate these kind of plays. Because now, now you just get into this vicious cycle. And at least I have Yin now. But it's like, it's it's too easy to just get into this vicious cycle where you, you fish and you don't hit anything. You end up having to keep fishing. So... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I should have done that. I probably should have just played, like... I don't even know. I didn't. I don't have anything that really hooks HA except the D. So I played Lid. It's such an uninspiring player. Maybe Lloyd. I'm not even sure, but I don't know. I don't, I don't think Low was the correct play. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. Uh, do I have anything here? Riddance, Candidor. I don't think I have a 7. Huh. It's an annoying play, because I don't have a hook. And I don't... I really don't think there's a 7. It would have to be with a vowel. No. Nah. Not feeling it. So, I might actually do this, just to somewhat obstruct the spot. At least now he can't bingo there. I think this is actually fine. I could also play Cred, but this... Yeah, that, I think that's fine. Oh, I drew Cindery and Dexy. Look at that. That's, uh, that's lucky. Of course, I have many things on... Ooh, that's a good play. So, it blocks Cindery. And... Cinders, Rescind, Discern. Crannied. I guess I have to play Cinders down below? I mean, it's not a very exciting play, but I think it's what I've got. Do I have anything here? Uh... Sunbeam. No, I think I'll just play um, keep a nice leave. Both getting a bit low on time, so we'll want to be a little careful of that. Hmm. Alright, I think I'll just play um anyway. On bears. Oh, yeah, I guess the bingo is probably just not going to play. Um, Alright, I think I'll... There's still an S. I think I'll just score with baser. It's a lot of points. Yeah, and Bear's definitely not going to play. Ugh. Ugly bull. All right, well, that's a big bailout. Now there's one in the bag. This is going to be a complicated endgame. He just plays MM. All right, uh, I don't have much time. Just J-O feels like it should do it. I don't know for sure, but, I mean, this feels like it'll probably win. I mean, I, oh, I missed, uh, oh, I know, I ran out of time again, shoot, dang it, yeah, he's just so much faster than me with, uh, that passing, I, I just, see, there wasn't one turn where I felt like I 
spend too much. I just I didn't save enough time again. Another game that I, I basically I was won and I lost on time. Dang. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, Patsy's or pet size, both double doubles. Yeah, I could just do this. Maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, I think this turn, yeah, I, I don't think, I, LO is just a bad play. I, I should just blow up the rack and score a little more. This is a little bit reckless, but yeah, I, I probably should have just done something over here. Um, I think I just got a little bit too, too fishy over here. Um, yeah, I could do this, I guess. I don't necessarily maybe have to block this spot, but decks seem like a pretty good play. Yeah, Cinder's is the only bingo. Um, oh, Samber, that's interesting. I think Um is fine, though. You know, it looks like I played a pretty good game here. Just unfortunately didn't... Yeah, I just, like... He's just playing so fast. I think he's, he's probably pre-moving. I, I probably need to start pre-moving a little bit more. I haven't been doing that. No, it was a very good game, though. I just, uh, yeah, again, felt like I should have been able to close it out. But I, again, just didn't get it done. So, series continues. Gavit or Jog? Probably Jog. Let's get rid of the J. The Restore with an S. Probably not going to get an S, but we'll see. Vibrator with a B as well. All right, so 5-3. Uh, oh, wow. I did get a B. I'll take that. Does that take a Y? Vibratory? I'm not sure. It might. I don't... I kind of think not, but I'm honestly not positive. I'll, it scores a lot of points. I'll probably challenge if he plays it. Just because it's so many points. But I honestly don't know for sure if it's good, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, what do I have here? A lot of O's and a lot of T's. Rootlet, Tootler. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to challenge. Ah, it is good. Dang it. All right, good play. Yeah, I wasn't sure of it. And like I said, it's 60 points. I figured, you know, it was enough points that it's worth a challenge if I'm not sure. But I, I just, uh, yeah, it wasn't 100%. All right. Um, Lodo, maybe. I guess so. I don't really have much. Yeah, not a uh, not a great draw. And what do I have here? Um, hmm. Uri, does that even play anywhere? Nowhere particularly good. <sighs> Yikes. Yeah, I want to play like Rue, R-U-E. I guess I'll play like Euro or something. I don't even know. It's pretty bad looking. Wow, I just drew freaking satires. <laughs> Goodness. That is uh, that is a heck of a draw. Keep I-R-I-T-E and I drew satires. <laughs> wow, or artsies, but yeah, it's pretty wild. I'll just play with Jogs next turn, I suppose. And let's see, do I have anything here? Mm, no bingos, I don't think. Euploid, Euphoria, I don't think so. Yeah. Definitely regretting challenging Vibratory, but I would have also regretted it a lot if... Uh, oh, that's a cool little play by Josh over here. I also regretted it a lot if it, uh, if I learned after the game that it wasn't good and I let a 60-point phony go. So, you know, it happens. That's why you got to know your words. And I've studied a lot of nines, but I haven't, uh, haven't been through that one yet, clearly. Anyway, that ship has sailed. Uh, hideout. You know, let's just burn through tiles and block a little bit. Hmm. Don't think I have anything particularly good here. Score is pretty close. Hmm, he gets Chiseler down. I guess I have to just play Paul or something. I mean, yeah, this board is already pretty tough now for bingoing, unfortunately. Yeah, maybe... Nah, I'll play over here just to set up this swap hook, even though I don't have it. I need to, I need to set up 
something just for him to think about. But not the draw I wanted here either. I'm going to definitely need to bingo. I'll probably have to play something like Fig over here. Just to try to distract him. Actually, I guess I can play it here. Yeah, I mean, there's still the heroes, so I can actually let's let's go over here. It scores enough points. Got to stay within one bingo range if I can. It's not going to be easy to come back, but I'll try. Uh, gentle? No. Even? I don't really... No, let's do this. No! Stupid Q. Didn't want that. I guess I'll just have to drop it here for 11. See, the problem is now, even if I bingo, it might not be enough. I just don't really have anywhere else. I mean, I could play QI under the A in Artsies, but I definitely don't want to get rid of my I. Lineages. I mean, it's probably not going to be enough. I could almost not bingo. Yeah, it's probably not enough to bingo, but I don't think anything is going to be enough. I mean, he's... Yeah, he's got enough time, I think, to... He can, if he finds Wiz... Oh, he didn't find Wiz. Hold on. Um... Oh boy. Um, all right, I have 35 seconds. What do I need? 20, I need 18. Um, uh, uh, can I get it? Tisk. Shoot. Uh, I don't think I can get it. Nah, I can't get very much. No, I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could have gotten more than that, but I just, uh, I, I don't think I had anything for 18. Right. Oh, Zakat for 13. That would have gotten me to within five. But yeah, no, no, no wins. Dang, it was close. Almost came back. Yeah, this was key here, the losing the turn. And I missed Tarot over here, which is a little bit of a better play, too. Six more points and it takes out that spot. Yep. Let's see. Ah, Euphro. Eh, I'm not sure that's actually better. I think I like Hideout. With a blank and two assists still unseen, I think it's good to go for some turnover and block some lines. Well, yeah, definitely an uphill battle from here, but yeah, I still... Maybe I should just play Paw, because there is the Euro so I don't necessarily need to set up another S-hook. But, I mean, I still think having multiple is good. Because if I, I only leave one hook open, he can sort of just block one and then win in a cat-and-mouse style game. Yeah, I guess Wiz actually does give back Ta in the corner, but it certainly is more than enough to win. But, yeah, I'm glad at least I... Um, yeah, at that point I just sort of panicked and slapped down and out. But I, I think I, I saw... I didn't actually see the Arceus hook, but it's not enough anyway. I saw a kit at some point, but then I forgot about it. And I knew it wouldn't win, so I sort of forgot about it anyway. But, yeah, Zakat would have gotten me 13. But oh well, all right. Josh is now, he's won, uh, I guess, two in a row. So he needs two more to win the series, but still match point for me. So I can still close it out here. And that's not a good start. QVOO. Depending on what he does, I may need to trade. Well, at least that's a ballot. Coin or quad? Probably quad. Ooh, that's a lot of ends. Non, non-avian. Nah, that's not, not going to work. I mean, it is a word, but I need another A in addition to... Oh, yeah, if my E was an A, now I could triple-triple with non-avian. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Wait a minute. Arm-like or ram-like? Yeah, it is arm-like. Okay, never mind. I just had to, I've messed that one up before, so I just had to, had to make sure. Yeah, I'm almost positive it is arm-like. Uh... So, Novena doesn't reach the triple. Nove, I guess? I don't know how to get rid of both of my ends there and the V. I don't know if it's actually possible. Eh, yeah, I guess Nove is fine. Hmm, bit of a clunky draw here. Yeah, I don't think I have... Bingo. I mean, I could play nils and quads. I hate burning my S like that. 
But I do want to score some points, and I mean, it's going to be very hard for me to score any points without playing off the S. Like, that's still kind of be better than playing nil for four. I mean, it's like 18 more points, and S isn't worth 18 points, even in this position. Yeah, I mean, I just, uh, I guess nil here maybe is probably worth it now. Yeah, let's play nil here. Set up S hooks galore. Do I have something now? There's no sevens. Pendants with a P. I feel like this is one of those racks where it's like you're close to bingoing, but you just can't quite. Dang. Uh, wait a minute. How about through the I? No. Standman. Huh. I guess I'll just have to take the points. Yeah, I think I gotta go here. Because I don't want him to just get more points and keep padding his lead. Alright. Ah, it's a lot of tees. Yeah, it's a very frustrating play to uh, have to make there. Jane keeping four consonants. I think I gotta play this. Yeah, now I'm just having consonant issues, unfortunately, so rough stuff, but it is, uh, is what it is. And yeah, he gets down Za for 66, so this is looking like we might be going to a game 11, guys, as crazy as that sounds. Uh, I wonder if I can get like a 10 here. It's going to be tough. I don't know. I don't know. This is not looking good. Yeah, I mean, I don't even have any ideas what to do here. Bort. Yeah, I have badness at least. I mean, maybe if I can... There's still two blanks left. So, if I can get down... Ah, oh, alright, well now... Now that's, uh, that's probably a GG. I guess I have band list too. That's probably a little bit. Is that good? I think that's good. I think baldness and bandness or bandless are both good. It's certainly a tough challenge in this position either way. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna need definitely quite a miracle at this point if I want to mount a comeback. I have anything to this ATE? I don't think so. Mm, Hoss? Actually, yeah, it takes a back R and an S. That's not what I needed, though. I'm pretty sure it doesn't take a D. I mean, I could try it. He, I'm sure he's going to challenge, though. Yeah, there's not really much of it. I guess I have Dedicate. Yeah, I mean, that maybe keeps some hope alive, depending on what he does here. Still down over almost, I mean, I'm down almost 100. It's going to be very tough to come back. Yeah, I mean, we're both fairly low on time, but I just, all right, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely that now. Just too, too many points for me to make up. I mean, even if I can bingo out, it's just uh, not going to get me enough points, I can't imagine. I have Pargays, but it's not going to play. Uh, I don't know. Just do something. Well, here we go, guys. Game 11 it is. Oh, Bandless is not good. I, I thought it was good. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I did think that one was good, but it's probably one I've messed up before and couldn't keep track. Definitely something that sounds like it could be could be good, but uh, yeah, game eleven, here we come. Yeah, so I mean, this game it feels like it was going to be a tough one to. 
to get done with um, as many points as Josh was scoring. Oh, Anolins is maybe worth playing. I didn't think of that for 28. But a &S is a good enough leave. I think that's fine. Yeah, this turn. I mean, I hate doing that. I mean, should I have played Dan? Could be ENST? I don't know. I mean, it's it's a lot of points. Ooh, Pyrexias. Eh, probably better to just do what Josh did, though, and take the points. Yeah, and then uh, he ends up getting the Z. Not too much LC. I get away with the phony. And then, uh, yeah, after the bingo, there's really not much else to look at. All right, well, let's get it on, guys. Here we go. Game 11. Josh has won three in a row, but I'm going to bingo here. So let's bingo with Vomitus, because that's a fun one. You don't get to see too often. Probably not the best one, because it puts the S there positionally, but it's a blitz game. It's hard to, you know, I don't think that matters all that much, and it's a fun word. He plays Fid. Uh, do I have anything here, like Proximate or something? I mean, I can play Rex. It's not that great. Um, Umidex or something? Peridot. Oh, 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 Peridot's a really nice play. It's a double X setup. Because I, I set up... Well, maybe not if I draw that. But I was going to say if I drew an I, I would have XI there and also an X spot on the left. I mean, if if the spot under the PE is blocked, then I can play XU over here. But I think it's worth it to play here instead, barely. So I guess I'll just play Ox. And then have a bunch of garbage to deal with now. But, I mean, I have... Options. I can play mod to score. Keeps EEU, which is obviously far from ideal. I can play EMU, which keeps AUD, also not ideal, but a little bit more, or a little bit less unideal, I should say, than EEU. Maybe just EAU here. Mod is probably enough points. It's 30 points. It's probably enough to be worth it. I mean, EEU, if I draw reasonably well, is somewhat salvageable. Hmm. Josh taking some time here. So, see what he comes up with. He plays City. Do I have anything through this T? Etude? Maybe Emu here. That, well, it's probably a little bit... That's probably better than Mod. I think it's enough points. I don't love opening, you know, I don't love opening that easy sevens line on the left, though, actually. Now that I look at it more closely, I think I'm going to stick to mod. Yeah, I think that's fine. As long as I don't draw horribly, this should be salvageable. Yeah, it's not great. I didn't even draw that badly. I drew EILT. That shows you how bad a leave this is. Um, oh, why do I want to do that? Uh, <laughs> do I really want to do that? Still an S left. Or do I just uh, do the probably smart thing and play Steely? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. <laughs> ah, I got the other U, though. Maybe I should have played U still. I mean, there's only one S left, but there's a blank, too, and I, I have a lead. I think this is probably still better. All right, well, at least there's no more U's to be had after this one. Uh, oh, Jaguar, okay. <laughs> That's a big bailout. Very big bailout. Maybe I'll draw Jaguar Rundi. That was a, was a word that was featured in the, the puzzle video I made recently. Yeah, uh, we had this cool Scrabble puzzle. Which, I guess, spoiler alert, Jaguar Rundi was relevant. I won't spoil anything more, but uh, go check out that video if you haven't uh, already. I can, I can link it in the description. It's a fun puzzle I made recently there where the, like I said, the solution involved Jaguar Rundi in some way. But I won't spoil anything more than that. I may have to block Jaguar Rundi with my... Actually, there's no use left. I was just saying there's no use left. It's actually good with an O, too. Jaguar Rondi. J-A-G-U-R... J-A-G-U-A-R-O-N-D-I. But I should probably stop getting distracted by Jaguar Rundi plays and, and try to win this game. Um, all right, let's block here a little bit, I think. Yeah, it looks good. Not a great draw. He gets down over Eats. 
Uh, Evite, nah, that doesn't work. Vita, maybe? Yeah, Vita sets up wine. That seems reasonable. Could play a wait. Yeah, there's actually there's no S's left. Let's play a wait. Rivier. Doesn't play, though. Hmm, I guess Verite. Get the Z. Zuid, uh, no, that doesn't work. I have this spot, but nothing immediately that fits. It's gonna be a time scramble, too. He's down to 20 seconds, I'm down to a little over 30. He's still thinking. Maybe just Dozy over here. He plays Plue. I think I like Dozy. Take out the S. If I can stop him from bingoing, I should be fine. He's down to four seconds. Two seconds. He's got to go. Wow. A bit of an anticlimactic... Uh, finish there, I have to say, but I mean, he was probably lost either way. But yeah, I mean, unfortunately, a little bit of an anticlimactic finish to, to the game 11 of an otherwise epic series there with uh, with Josh timing out. Let's see, yeah, I mean, this is definitely, like I said, I saw it, it's a better play equity-wise, but uh, with a blank and an S and still having a lead, it just didn't really seem smart. Um... Oh, yeah, I should probably just do this, to be honest. I think that's too big an equity sacrifice. I got, I think, well, I got distracted by Jaguar Rundi and Jaguar Rondi. <laughs> and I just got too fixated on blocking. So, yeah, a little sloppy there. Um, but uh, I missed Izar. But I think I like blocking over here. And then I don't even know what, oh, Josh. Oh, he had G-L-E-D-A-R blank, and he was looking for, uh, for bingos. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, Josh, uh, Josh knows about my puzzle, so he will uh, he will appreciate this. Um, but uh, yeah, anyway, what a uh, what a series! I mean, it was it started out extremely well for me. I was up, was I up what five one? No, four one. And uh, yeah, I was up four one, and then five two, and then yeah. 4-1, then 5-2, and then I uh, then he won three in a row to make it 5-5, five, five, and then I ended up winning in game 11. So very much a roller coaster of a series. Um, well well played. I feel like we both played pretty well overall. Um, always a pleasure playing with Josh. I really appreciate him taking the time to, uh, to do this, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it, maybe learned something, uh, some new strategy or, uh, or some new words. So um, let, me, uh, let me know if you... If you enjoyed it, what you think, and um, yeah, I uh, I'll hopefully have uh, some more of these with Josh and uh, other top players to come soon, so uh, looking forward to those, and um, yeah, looking forward to reading your feedback and seeing you guys soon for the next Blitz series. So uh, thanks for tuning in, everyone, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.